Today, we're gonna hide that tummy with these 10 essential style tips. Hi ladies, it's Erin and welcome back to my channel. My goal through my channel is to help you look like the best version of yourself. And the reason I do that is because when you look good, you feel good. There's such a strong connection there. There's a couple things I wanna talk about right out of the gate before I get into these 10 essential style tips to help you cover, hide your tummy. It's a really great video, so stick with me here for a minute. But these two things I wanna say out of the gate are so important. The first is, you deserve to look good. Somebody wrote a comment on my recent YouTube video uh, where I featured how to look younger, and I'll put a link to that video below, it's really good, but she wrote that sadly she doesn't feel that she deserves to look good. And I literally started tearing up because I understand what she means. For some of us, things have happened in our past where we don't feel that we're worthy. We don't feel that we deserve to look good. I don't know if you guys know this about me or not, but I've been through a lot in my life and a lot of therapy and a lot of different types of therapy. I really do love to try alternative therapies. And one of the things that hit me recently that I had not thought of before, because I grew up with a father that was an alcoholic, probably also suffered from PTSD. He was a Vietnam War vet. I think he was undiagnosed anyway. He, he abandoned the family. And I think because of that for a very long time, and I think it's something that I still struggle with, I feel that I don't deserve love. That's a really powerful thing to say, and it's a really sad thing to say, but I'm a firm believer in once you acknowledge something is an issue, then you can know you know it's there and then you can move forward and work on it, right? I know there are a lot of you out there who may not be feeling like the best version of yourself. You're feeling overweight, you're feeling horrible about yourself. You look at people on Instagram and you you get annoyed and you you just don't even want to shop or get dressed or do anything because you just don't feel good about yourself. I understand that. I was there fairly recently because of menopause, gained a lot of weight right around my tummy. And so I think this topic it's it's beyond just let's hide your tummy, right? It's, it's really deep and personal. Even if you don't feel great about yourself right now, have the hope and inspiration that you're gonna get to where you wanna be and just try to love the body that you're in right now. I know that's hard to do, but I think if you employ some of these styling tips, you are gonna feel a lot better. You're going to feel more confident and you're going to feel more like you. It's such a simple thing that you can do. You can pull something out of your closet in a strategic way and lift your spirits, build your confidence. So for those of you who aren't in menopause, perimenopause, you're not sure, you haven't heard anything about menopause on my channel, I've done like four or five videos on menopause and you can go back and check those out and I'll put a link below. Essentially, I have been going through it. I, I basically, started skipping periods at 42. I'm now about 46, just about to turn 46. And through this process, I've done a ton of research and reading and really getting informed about what it is, what it does to your body. And so I wanted to share something with you guys that I think is so poignant and important. When you're going through menopause, it means you have a loss of hormones. You have a loss of estrogen, mostly. With that loss of hormones, your body tries to make up for it by storing fat deep under the skin. So it's not that subcutaneous layer, it's actually called the visceral fat. It's called visceral fat. So that's deep inside the abdomen and specifically you gain it right around here. So if you're like me and you feel like extra squishy back here and around here where you've never been like that before or even here, there's a biological reason for that and it's because you're lacking that estrogen. And basically that visceral fat produces hormones. It also produces other stuff that's very unhealthy for you that can cause heart disease and high blood pressure, high cholesterol, type two diabetes, etc. But I wanted you to know that because I want you to understand that if you are all of a sudden in that boat where you're gaining weight right here, there's a biological reason for it. And I feel like once you understand, then you can kind of like take a different approach and combat it maybe in a, a potentially different way. Maybe you try HRT, replacement, replacing that estrogen you're losing. So for those of you who are struggling with weight gain here, or you have a little bit of a tummy or a pooch or whatever horrible name you wanna call it, I'm gonna show you 10 style tips to help you mask it to help you look slimmer, to help you look your best. 
And hopefully that will lift your spirits, that will make you feel better both on the inside and the outside. So enough rambling, let's get started. Okay, tip number one to help you hide your tummy is to wear body skimming tops. There's definitely a tendency when you're not feeling your best, you're feeling like you're carrying extra weight in your middle, to go in the moo moo zone, the giant oversized tent top zone. Don't do that. Instinctively, you want to do that, but don't do that. Instead, opt for body skimming tops. So let me give you an example. Here on the left, you see I'm wearing a really oversized voluminous top. It's a cute top. I own it. It's in my closet, but this isn't going to be doing me any favors in terms of giving me shape. On the other hand, here is a frame white v-neck blouse that is body skimming, and that does give me shape. And that's really lovely and that's what you want to do but it's still providing that forgiveness in the tummy area now depending on where your tummy is you may need a longer top it just depends on where you carry your weight the length of the top will depend on where your tummy is so the lower tummy being a little bit different than that upper tummy the second tip is to look for strategic design details you want tops that have a knot under the bust or a higher waistline, empire waistline, that will highlight that underbust area, which is the tiniest part on a woman's body, um, and obviously away from the problem area. Or maybe it's a faux wrap in the front, or maybe it's just ruching in a strategic way, or maybe it's a panel across the underbust. You wanna find these strategic design details. So let me show you an example of what I'm talking about. So again, let's go to our billowy oversized top. On the left, that has no shape, just, you know, pretty basic. And then on the right, a top by Eero that has this beautiful ruched panel under the bust. This top may not be ideal if you have a lower tummy or a pooch, whatever you want to call it. It's not that long, so that could be an issue. You always have to think about the length of the top, depending on where you carry that weight in your tummy and what kind of tummy you have. But a top like this will definitely mask that tummy by highlighting the under bust or empire waist. You may notice that this Eero blouse also has beautiful broad shoulders. So let's talk about tip number three, which is to build up the shoulders. And what that does is it makes and creates more width across the top. And in contrast, makes your waist look smaller and tinier. And that's another way, it's like more of a, an optical illusion. <laughs> I use this one all the time because as you guys know, as I talk about ad nauseum, I am a rectangle shape. That means I do not have a very defined waist. If you're not sure what your body shape is, by the way, I did a whole video to help you determine your body shape, and I'll put a link to that below in the description box. But I'm a rectangle, and so I love a broad shoulder or a puff shoulder because that will definitely make my waist look tinier. So here is an example of before and after of me wearing just you, you know, your basic white silk blouse, button-down blouse on the left, and then on the right, that same frame white blouse, that little puff shoulder that adds that bit of width across the top. Just like your shoulders, if you have a sleeve that's more voluminous and eye-catching, that can also build up some width across the top and make your waist look tinier. It can also draw the eye to the sleeves and take attention away from the tummy. So it sort of pulls double duty. So I wanna show you an example of a before and an after. So on the left here, I have a basic express black tee on with a little tie knot in the front. This tee is great, by the way. It does conceal your tummy. I just wanna show you the difference between having more of a dramatic sleeve and not having a dramatic sleeve. The Express Tee is also awesome if you are busty because it is roomy in the bust area and then it cinches toward the hips. So then on the right, I have this statement top by Amanda Uprichard with really puffy sleeves and they end just under the bust. So where your sleeves end is where the eye will go. I've talked about this before. These sleeves end just at that empire waist, which is a beautiful place for them to end. It also has this really lovely neckline, which I'll talk more about in a minute. And it's a structured fabric. So any kind of structured fabric or fabric with heft to it will be more forgiving in the tummy area versus something that's really lightweight jersey that will be less forgiving. So fabric choice is another consideration I wanted you to think about. The top on the right also has 
this detail underneath the neckline that really draws the eye right there. And then it has some ruching toward the sides. It's such a standout top and such a statement top. It's not one you're gonna pull out to wear every day, but I wanted to give you a dramatic example so you could really see what that sleeve can do for your waistline. So now let's go back to the neckline, which would be tip number five to wear a thoughtful neckline because the neckline, as you guys know, can be very elongating. I talked about this in my Look Slimmer video. If you missed that one, that one's so good. I will put a link to it below in the description box. But essentially, if you have something that's high on the neck, that is going to be less elongating, less slimming than something that is open, more open, V-neck, scoop neck, boat neck, portrait neckline, any kind of open neckline. So here's an example on the left of a high neck top and green. This one's from Zara. It's cute, right? It's so cute, but it's not elongating me. The one on the right, which is again, that frame white blouse has a beautiful V neck and that is more elongating. So remembering to really put thought into that neckline choice when you really want to, you know, minimize the tummy, draw the eye up and away from the tummy. Also elongate the upper body, minimize a bust if you have a big bust and the tummy. It does a lot of things that neckline. So be strategic about your neckline. The sixth tip to hide that tummy and help you look slimmer and longer is to look for a top with a rounded hemline. So let's go back to that green high neck top and the frame white blouse. So the green high neck top, while cute, I told you it's in my closet and I like it, but it's straight across the bottom. So look at that compared to the frame blouse, which is slightly rounded on the bottom. And so what the rounding does is it actually elongates the lower body, gives you more leg real estate, and it makes you look slimmer overall. So that's another little detail that you can think about when you're looking for that perfect tummy control top without wearing Spanx, by the way, no shapewear. Notice all of these tips do not include shapewear. So let's just recap for a minute. So we covered a lot of ground here. You wanna do body skimming tops, not oversized. You want strategic design details that conceal the tummy, maybe by highlighting under the bust, or they're just gonna mask that tummy. You wanna build up your shoulders to create the illusion of a smaller waistline. You wanna do a more dramatic sleeve to draw the eye out and away from the tummy. You wanna think about that neckline as a way of minimizing tummy bust and elongating the upper body. And you wanna look for a rounded hem to elongate the lower body and again, just keep you looking longer and leaner and meaner. Another quick and easy way that you can mask your tummy but still create a waist Let's go back to that big oversized tent top that I showed you earlier on. So take that tent top and then put a little jacket over it. The hemline of the jacket hits at a really lovely place. It gives me a waist, but the blouse underneath actually gives tummy forgiveness, right? It's covering and masking that tummy. And I showed you guys this tip in my look younger video, dress younger video, which I will put a link to below. I love that video too, such a good one. But layering that jacket over the tunic will again pull double duty. It will mask the tummy. It will also create a waist. So thinking about that combo, I know if you're in a sweltering hot climate right now, you can't do this, but it's something to just keep in the back of your mind for when the weather starts to cool down a bit. Tip number eight is something I've talked about before, and it is just a really easy tool that you have in your toolbox to pull out in a pinch. It's kind of like shapewear, but not. Just wearing a higher rise pair of jeans can really make a big impact in masking and also just sucking in the stomach. So it almost works like shapewear. Remember to look at the fine details on the jeans that you're ordering because it will tell you what the rise is. So high rise is nine inches or higher and that will hopefully help to suck in your tummy a bit more. And when it's higher rise too, you're not gonna have the muffin top hanging over the jeans like you would if it's lower rise. Thinking about wearing higher rise jeans instead of lower rise jeans as a way of combating that tummy. Now, some of you have the lower tummy and if you have the lower tummy and you wear the high-rise jeans and you belt them it's gonna just it's like a it's like a hey look at my tummy thinking about all of those top tips that I already shared with you to wear over the high-rise jean because the last thing you want to do is like highlight a pooch or something tip number nine is to wear vertical stripes so instead of horizontal which can tend to make you look wider wear vertical stripes it's very simple this is one that we probably all know, but it's worth repeating. So let me show you an example on the left. 
You see I am wearing a horizontal stripe t-shirt. Again, nothing wrong with this t-shirt, but if I'm trying to mask a tummy, this is not my best foot forward. Okay, we've got a higher neckline, we've got the horizontal stripes, creating that illusion that I'm wider across the top and the tummy. If you switch to vertical stripes, that will be more forgiving and more elongating and mask the tummy better. So if you want to wear stripes, I would go with the vertical stripe versus the horizontal stripe. But if you do want to wear horizontal stripes, just throw a little blazer over it. This is that lioness blazer I featured a bunch of times that is, that is in a knit fabric, so it's very casual. You also can throw a jacket over the vertical stripes, which is also a really nice look. This blazer, by the way, is from Nordstrom. I've talked about this one a lot too. It's also knit, very casual. Tip number 10 to help you mask a tummy is to wear a third layer. And I've talked about this one, I feel like, I don't know, you guys, over and over and over again, right? The issue is right now it's hot and so the third layer is tricky. Here in Colorado, we get pretty cool at night and we're also pretty cool in the morning. So it's very realistic for us to be wearing a third layer. If you're in Texas, South Florida, Southern California, probably not gonna be the case. But just, again, store this in the back of your mind for when the weather does cool down a bit. I did find a duster cardigan that's really chic and paper thin. This one is by Scoop from Walmart and I really love this cardigan. And if you're looking for a summer weight cardigan that won't break the bank, this one is an awesome option. It comes in a few other colors as well. Throw that third layer over it. It like skins the sides, so it sort of like takes away any muffin top that you might have and it elongates you, it masks the tummy. It does all the things for the tummy, right? <laughs> it's just something to think about, something to have in the back of your mind. Again, a tool to have in your toolbox. I am a firm believer in accepting and embracing and loving the body that you have. And so please don't watch this video and think, oh my gosh, Erin is saying that having a tummy is a bad thing. I am not saying that at all. I created this video because frankly, so many of you have told me that you have issues with tummy. And so, I hear that often enough and I'm like, all right, let's get in there, let's dig in there and let's do this. And also I did do a video with my friend Kelly. It was like 20 tips to hide your tummy, I think it was called. This was a couple years ago and that video is also about tummy hiding a tummy and you may wanna watch that one after this one, chock full of tips. Just ignore the fact that I'm standing on my tiptoes. I got so tired of hearing people complain about that that I actually started deleting their comments. But the reason I'm on my tiptoes is because Kelly's very tall and I wasn't able to wear my shoes in her house. So just ignore the tiptoes and look at the tips. One quick bonus tip I just wanted to share with you because I didn't really talk about dresses at all. So if you're looking for sort of the perfect tummy control dress, obviously you don't wanna go in the like the super tight zone because that's gonna highlight a tummy like this dress by, by Rag & Bone. It's a racer back, sporty, fitted tank dress. I happen to really like it, but it definitely does highlight a tummy. You also don't wanna go in the moo moo zone. Again, oversized, billowy, huge. It's gonna make you look bigger all over like this dress by Sancia. You wanna go for something again that's incorporating all those things I talked about with the top. You know, having that thoughtful design detail highlighting the under bust. Like this white dress, it also has a beautiful neckline. It also has sleeves. It has an A-line skirt, which gives you a lot of forgiveness in the tummy area. It also creates more of an hourglass shape. So thinking about dresses that look similar to this silhouette. That's your best bet on the dress front. If you like this video and you haven't already subscribed to my channel, I hope you'll hit that subscribe button because I have a lot more styling tips on my channel, especially for those of you who are over 40. Also, I'm over on Instagram at Busby Style with just you know, everyday outfit inspiration if you just want um, some ideas, casual kind of everyday outfit looks. Thank you so, so much for watching. I am your number one supporter. I am so grateful that all of you are here. I love all of you. I think you're amazing. I know that a lot of you are having struggles with your bodies, especially for those of you in perimenopause and menopause, but I am gonna do everything I can to help you, I promise. That's my pledge. And I mean it from my heart. I will see you guys next time. Bye.